Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the free video editing system or free video editing software for Linux distros. If you're using Ubuntu, Kali Linux or, uh, uh, or Linux Pop, then this video is very, very helpful for you because, you know, you don't have any options other than Kden Live. So let's talk about the Kden Live. Oh, sorry, you have a DaVinci Resolve, but let me tell you, DaVinci Resolve is not going to be suitable for your operating system, which is uh, Ubuntu. I tried several tr uh, several times installing DaVinci Resolve on my system, but it crashes. Uh, it sometimes it gives you the graphical issue. Sometimes it has a lot of problems. You know, you cannot import the uh, formats. So there is a lot of issue with DaVinci Resolve. Otherwise, if you can able to play DaVinci Resolve on your system, then DaVinci Resolve would be the better option. But as of now, you have only one editing software, which is a Kden Live. You must be thinking about uh, uh, OpenShot or Shortcut. Let me tell you, OpenShot and Shortcut both are are disgusting. Both are trash. I don't like that because compared to Kden Live, Kden Live is a full flash variator. You can do advanced variating as well. But you know, uh, as of the beginning, you're a beginner maybe, so you don't know how to figure out or you don't figure out how to use uh, Kden Live. As a beginner, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the beginning mode of Kden Live, where you can, uh, you know, start beginning, you know, start using the Kden Live after using this video, after watching this video. Sorry. So let's talk about the Kden Live. You see, this is the default interface of Kden Live. You got a bunch of workspace as well. So if you want to work only with the audio, you just click on the audio section. You will present it. Everything you know is categorized in the audio format. If you want to work only on colors, you just click on the colors and it will give you all the parameters of colors and all the features, including that. I mean, the system, the interface, it will be converted into the color mode. So you better go with the color options. If you want to work with the audio, you have to click on audio and you see all the things is, uh, you see the, the highlighted things is in audio so you can tweak your audios out. Uh, you might be thinking, what is logging? Logging is basically for, uh, you know, this thing is clip monitor, it's cutting. If you are uh, doing some cutting things, then uh, logging thing will be perfect because you see a lot of details. You can add a lot of details in your cut clips. But uh, the main thing we are talking about is editing. When you open up the Kden Live for the very first time, it will be pop open in the, in the default mode, which is like editing, of course. So let's talk about editing and you can see all your... Uh, uh, your project settings so it's HD 1080p 25 uh, FPS Kden Live which is a default by the way and you get all the features yes let's talk about this setting so we just go to setting you can see the color theme so by default it is uh, it is white you know by default it comes white so we don't like white even I don't like white so what I do I just uh, change to pre stock okay but this is not yet if you go to setting again if you just go to style you can also change the styling option as well so let's talk about the f let's 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 set this to fusion and you will see everything is looks like a fusion if you want to change further just go to settings and click on styles and click on windows you see everything looks like a window if you want to change more you just go to styling and click on breeze and you see everything looks like a breeze and you got default but a breeze and when you click on default the default is something like a breeze and just go to windows fusions and you can see everything's look like fusion but i think just go to uh, settings and uh, style option i think breeze option is fine for the most of the users we may be looking for but you know in kden live you got a lot of updates as well so you don't have to um you hunt for the updates it is updated software it is open source completely free you don't have to pay anything to premiere pro you don't have to pay to Filmora or anything like that because you're using Ubuntu. It's a completely open source operating system. On top of that, you use all kinds of operating, all kinds of software as a free. Talking about the Telegram is free. Talking about the Audacity is free. OBS is completely open source free. Brave is free. Chrome is free. Everything is free, in, including this uh, GNU image manipulation is also free, which is a Photoshop alternative. And you see a bunch of things is completely free and it's fast as well. If you use Ubuntu, it's fast. If give you, it adds a new life to your computer or your machine. All right, so enough talk. Let's talk about the Kden Live right now. So you see the Kden Live, and uh, it looks best. It has a black mode, dark mode. Uh, basically, gives a very good-looking software. It's good-looking software. 
the first thing first you need to add a clips of folder you can you know add clips of folder you can do whatever you want so i have uh, some clips called cinematic mp4 and cinematic camera or uh, you can, i can also add some images as well so let's do that and i got some outro and one more thing uh, i can add like this uh, and now it is asking me to switch to clip profile hd 720p let's do that or just cancel it okay i just want don't want that now the, there are two ways to import medias onto the timeline or, or, or onto the project pane by just selecting add clips or folder on the second way is you can always uh, use your uh, explorer files explorer to bring some of the more footages so i have footages on my hard drive and i got some davinci workflow i got some stock footages so let's uh, uh, bring some of the footages of coffee maybe happy life so i got some happy lives so what i'll do is just going to select some of the happy life uh, footages is a stock raw footages let's bring those all right so we got a snow swimming in 720p and handbrake or like that vice versa so what you can do you can just select everything you just bring onto the timeline you can see it will be adjusted like this and this the first video is all about is music so i'm going to delete this from the keyboard by uh, by clicking delete from keyboard keyboard i got a you know the space and how do you fill that space you just have to click uh, right from your mouse and you will see the option called remove space on all tracks or remove space you just have to click on remove space and you see there is a no space at all so this is also a, uh, a music only so what i'll do i just want to remove and this is also music just want to remove and now i just i want to fill this space so remove this space and you see everything there this is something like outro so i want to put this here and want to remove this space now for the part i just want to bring more footages as well so let's bring this these footages over here so let's select some of the footages to bring on my timeline like this okay you might be wondering what is this this is the clip monitor so if you want to uh, take a part of your any clip you just have to uh, select the in points and out points to select to make your life easier you have to click i from your keyboard to select the in points and uh, take the scrub and uh, place it anywhere just you want to uh, uh, take the out point and select o from your keyboard and you there you go you got a clip you just have to import the clip over here to see that the selected clip is now now on your timeline now i need to add a royalty free music or free stock music to do that i just want to go to my file explorer and go to audio library and uh, let's select the pomer stick or maybe cartoon this is a very good music from ncs if you don't know ncs is a no copyright sound music uh, you can easily fi find a no copyright sound uh, on youtube but this is i think in video mode so i don't want that let's go to something else like digital ghost mp3 i want to select the mp3 file so this is a digital ghost and let's play the audio as you can see this is the kd live is completely free and open source video editing uh, software uh, this is uh, mainly available for ubuntu or linux distros but if you're using windows then yes possibly you can also install it on your windows operating system as well but for the operating system like ubuntu you don't have any other options uh, you know you have the option for installing lightworks which is a freemium model which is a freemium software and also davinci resolve i tried several times installing davinci resolve but you know what uh, davinci resolve crashes all the time and don't you know perfect but uh, you can't be really install davinci resolve on your system so kdn live is the only option only one options if you're using ubuntu like me you must have to learn uh, the kdn live other than you don't have any any options okay uh, talking about the talking about the open shot and shortcut the, the waste material waste products i don't like those 
uh, even though those are completely free and open source, I don't like those softwares. Like I don't like those. Simply, I like uh, Kaden Live compared to them. It's Kaden Live much better than those. Now the main th the, the, let's talk about the, some features which I'm gonna uh, teach you here. The important shortcuts. Like if you want to move your clips from one place to another, how do you do that? Uh, you have to select a tool called Move Tool. It's, is also known as a spacer tool and there is a shortcut from your keyboard called M. If you press M, uh, the move tool will be selected and you can able to select all of your clips to move around. Okay. You can also select all and move your clips like this. And that's, I think, yeah, this, this, these are the selected. So, uh, like this. So if you want to come, uh, come back to the normal mode, which is a S you have to press S. This is a selection tool, which is a S. You have to uh, click S and you are now in the normal mode. To fill the gap, you have to click on remove a space and that's it. Now, if you want to make a cut or if you want to split the, uh, split the clip into two parts, uh, you have a, a, a you know cutter mode, which is a razor tool. Uh, you can either go to razor tool by selecting x from your keyboard and you have the mouse for cutting a cutting mouse and you can make a multiple cuts on your uh, clips or you have some different options as well if you don't want to use this razor tool you just have to go back to the normal mode which is a s let's go to back to the normal mode and there is a shortcut as well to cut the clip which is a shift plus r if you do that your clips will be cut shift plus r you see clips has been cut it down very efficiently what else let's talk about the very important uh, setting that i want to talk about is called proxy because when you use a system when you use a laptop or if you maybe you maybe you use ubuntu maybe have a maybe you don't have a great specs so what that time what is the most important thing which is a proxy in uh, DaVinci Resolve, we have optimized media earlier, but now we also have the proxy thing with uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is great. Uh, the same thing also here, also, also, also like you can also apply the same thing over here. Just go to the, uh, just go to settings of Kden Live and just go to configure Kden Live. And you see project default. Uh, this is the default setting which you can select for the project default. Uh, it means that whenever you open up a Kden Live, uh, you will be working with project default, which is a EST. Uh, this is the project default. You can also you can you can also select some different projects uh, uh, resolutions. But when you imp start importing some media's footages into the uh, Kden Live, Kden Live will also suggest you to change your clips into these. And depending on your uh, settings, you can change, you cannot change. But let's talk about the proxy clips. Uh, here I haven't. You know, I haven't enabled proxy clips, but you can enable the proxy clips and you can even go deep uh, in advance uh, by, by generating proxy for videos larger than 500 pixels or encoding profile automatic or generate for images. So if you do that, it will, you know, it will tell to the uh, uh, Kden Live software, we're editing software that once you start bringing the footages, which is larger than 500 megapixel, it will start automatically creating the proxy file. It will take some time and uh, but these are things in the background so everything is actually happening in the background so don't have to wait for that but yeah you have to leave your system idle because at that time you know the things are a little bit on the tricky side so you have to click on apply and okay this time you are not seeing any proxy thing happening but next time if you bring some footages on your uh, project pin it will be start uh, making some proxy thing but as of now i just don't want to make any proxy because uh, without making proxy, my system works fine and I, and I liking it. So those are some uh, hefty and nifty tool which I discussed here. Of course, there's a lot of uh, other uh, uh, other things as well, apart from learning. Uh, so if you wish to see more videos of Kden Live, just let me know in the comments below. I will be make more videos. Definitely, I will create a, a small videos for Kden Live to teaching you how to use better. So let me know in the comments below okay if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 
and share with your friends who are installing Ubuntu or who are switching, switching from Windows to Linux and want to use video editing software like this, which is Kaden Live, which is better than a uh, shortcut or uh, open shot as well. Subscribe if you are new and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.